I'm Natasha Stokes, editor of Mobile Toast Magazine, with Nifty Tricks and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the first phone to run on the Android Ice Cream Sandwich OS. There are a lot of cool new features that are only available to Android phones with the Ice Cream Sandwich update, so let's check a few of them out. The 8 megapixel camera has a couple of really impressive features, and one of them is the zero shutter lag, which means that you can basically take pictures instantly. The other feature here is a panorama mode, access down here. Once you're in panorama mode, you can get a nice long shot just by hitting the record button here. Then, just swing the camera gently around. It'll actually warn you if you're going too fast. And when you've reached 180 degrees from where you're at, it'll stop and automatically start stitching the shots together to create this nice long shot of where we're at here at Seven Dials. I can now save this and share it with friends via emails or social networks. And that's the trick number one. One of the more interesting new features on ice cream sandwich phones is the face unlock feature, which actually uses face recognition software to unlock the phone for use. So just wake the phone from its off state and place it in front of your face. It's recognized me, so now the phone is freed for use. As you'd expect, another pretty well implemented app on ice cream sandwich phones and the Galaxy Nexus is the Google Plus app. You can just head in and view pretty much what I would in a desktop version of Google+, Plus, including my circles. So here are my circles and the people that I've placed into acquaintance, followers, friends, and other such groups. I can also check out what everybody's saying by heading into the stream. So I can view the posts from friends, acquaintances, all my circles, or even who's near my GPS location. Heading back into all circles, I can see that a friend, Mark, has just started a hangout. Now, so that's basically a video chat you can do with other people who are on Google+. So I can join the Hangout and video chat with Mark just by hitting Join Hangout from the stream. Oh, Hangout. And here's Mark now. Hey, Mark. Now, this Hangout isn't limited to just the two of us. Other people who see the Hangout pop up in their Google Plus stream can also join or we can invite people. So now we've got Scott joining the Hangout, and the three of us are now doing video chat Hangout together. Now, if you're thinking that all this is going to be using up a lot of data, a handy new app you get with ice cream sandwich phones is the Data Usage app, which lets you put a monthly cap on the amount of data that you download. That's the future trick number two. The Galaxy Nexus is one of the first phones to come with NFC, or Near Field Communications, which lets you wirelessly share content between two NFC devices. In a Galaxy Nexus, this is used in Android Beam, which will let you bounce different types of content instantaneously between two Galaxy Nexuses. So this works with a few different types of content, and one example is YouTube videos. So say I'm in YouTube and I'm watching something that's worth sharing. I can share this with another Galaxy Nexus just by placing the two phones back to back. Boom, they've instantaneously linked up and I can just touch to beam the YouTube video over to the other phone where it's already loaded and ready to play. Android Beam also works with apps. So I've got one of my favorite apps right now, a black cab hailing app. And I'm in this app and I can easily share it with a friend by again, placing my phone back to back with the other Galaxy Nexus. They're linked touch to Beam and a link in the Android market to download that very same app has already opened on the other Galaxy Nexus. So Android Beam also works with web pages and map links, both pretty useful things to be able to bounce to your friend instantaneously. And that is Nifty Trick number three on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. <laughs>